And then there was a snowball effect, you know, helped us out there and, uh, and we were good around the net. I thought we were opt opportunistic around the net. They're an aggressive team, uh, the way they, they forecheck and the defense are up and they got great gaps and it created some opportunities for us and, you know, some odd man rushes and end up uh, creating some good opportunities for us at the net. Um, and, I, you know, I thought, you know, for the most part, we stuck with our game plan. It, it slid a little bit there and it's hard not to. Human nature tells you when you're up by, you know, three and four and five goals that, you know, guys want to start doing a little more than what they're, you know, that we want them to do. And so we got away from it a little bit, but for the most part, we, uh, we were able to bring it back. Um, we gave up a lot of shots and we'll have to, you know, address that. Way too many shots, but um, I liked our power play, you know, gave us a real good uh, boost there in, in the first period and on some opportunities. And then I thought a turning point, even though we're up by a few goals and, uh, you know, we got a, a two minors in the same play. I, you know, uh, one was a bench minor that, uh, that, that I'll take uh, responsibility for. And, I, and our PK group, uh, including the gentleman to my left, uh, bailed us, bailed our team out, bailed me out um, in that situation. And uh, I thought we picked up a little momentum from that because at that point, it, you know, they could have gotten one or possibly two. Um, and it, you know, we jumped on them early, and they had a tough travel day yesterday. It took them a long time to get here. That's a real good hockey club, and um, I don't think the score is indicative of how good they are. But we were fortunate to uh, jump on them early. Uh, I think it's probably just a combination of both right now. Um, you know, my shot's been something I've been working on after practice, me and John Stevens and Sakura, and it's starting to show, and we're just playing off each other well. And, yeah, I am getting some fortunate bounces right now. So. One of them's not Madigan, Jocko. No, uh, I haven't been really paying attention to that too much. I just remember when uh, I got the 100th point. That was a pretty big, pretty big thing. But beyond that, I, uh, the last I remember is him saying, telling me to get 150. So working on it. Well, the, the last two guys he just passed are, were my roommates, Stewie Emerson and Randy Busick. And, you know, Busick is an NHLer and the Hall of Famer here, and Emerson was a hell of a player. So you don't know them, but you're, you're, you know, you've surpassed some real good players. What, what, what do you feel you've improved on the most this year, even going back to last year, that you really elevated your offensive game? You talked about working in the shop, but what else do you see as you know, keys to your development? Um, I think just developing even more chemistry with, with John Stevens and our power play unit's really clicking. I know I have a lot of power play goals right now. So um, I think just being around the Stevens boys and Sakura and Gaudet playing with those guys for two years, um, there's just a lot of chemistry right now. So I don't even need to really look anymore. I could just know when I'm going to get the puck and know when those guys are going to be open. So. Clarkson, are you talking about Clarkson? Oh, oh, us? So that's something we've been working on a lot, especially against this team. Um, we talked about it just going D to D and hitting the post guy and getting our center iceman and the winger to come through with speed. It's something we really hammered home in practice this week. Yeah, I think so. I know, um, I think it took a little bit to find our identity, just as it did last year. Um, bringing in a larger freshman class definitely um, has an effect on that. So I think guys are really starting to gel and figure out their roles. Thank you. Good job, Bruce. Congratulations. Yeah, I know it is. He's in he's in a good zone. I, I don't see many fluky goals to be honest with you there, and uh, or lucky breaks. I, I see him, um, you know, being in a real good zone. Um, he's shooting the puck well. He's he's got a, he's getting a shot off quickly. Um, you, you know, he had a couple of chances earlier in the in the first period. I mean, he could end up with five or six there tonight, um, and um, you know he stuck with it. So it's show it shows me the maturity of the player when you don't score early, and you just stay with it because he was a little frustrated there, and uh, and he stuck with it, and he got some good opportunities and you know and, the, and he talked about it I mean John Stevens and, and, and Zach Astorius have good chemistry and you know the one thing John Stevens 
plays the game so well and he finds Zach all the time and John's more of a distributor and you know you look at the score sheet and you know he comes away with one assist off of the night but he's involved in every single play you know so you know those two when John was out of the lineup Zach was really good but when John's in the lineup he's great and the two of them together give us you know potentially uh, I think you know the, the best two combination and when his brother comes back and Patty Schul's doing a great job now um, but when his brother was there last year we saw you know the chemistry of that line and um, and we'll hopefully get to that point shortly but the two of them in, in, in Zach's situation he's he's in a real good spot right now he's playing well he plays 200 feet you know he's a hard guy to to play against because he plays both ends of the rink. Yeah, I mean, he's his habits and details are just tremendous for a for a, you know kid who was a senior in college and uh, he just everything the right way uh, and he does it in practice and, and as I said, him and Stevens lead the way in practice and because their habits are just impeccable and then in the game you see it he, he kills penalties you know he's used in every situation you know five on four you know. Up five on four, down. I mean, today he had a shorthanded goal, power play goal, and, and an even strength goal. I mean, th that speaks, you know, to how how he contributes and the impact he has on the team. And between him and Stevens, um, you know, they they have a big role on our hockey club, and uh, um, and they lead the way. They're our leaders on the ice. They're leaders off the ice, and um, and Reese the way he plays two hundred feet is just, you know, that's what's going to tr help them transition to the next level next year. Yeah, you know, I, I look around and, you know, and obviously I, was, I spent some time at that level, you know, watching free agents for, for the Islanders and, the, and Penguins, you know, years ago. And uh, if he's not the best college free agent, you know, I don't, I haven't seen who's better than him. Um, but what he brings is the ability to, to, you know, be able to contribute offensively, play defense. He's responsible, he's thorough. And at the NHL level, coaches want to know that you can, they can trust you. He can be trusted in any situation. Um, so, you know, I just see upside. I think, him coming back this this year helped out with his emotional growth more than and develop more than anything. So the physical yes, the, the athletic yes, and then the emotional. So all three of those coming together have really uh, made him a hell of a player. They they know each other. They work off each other really well. Um, when teams are trying to shut down one option, our guys because it's there's so much fluidity, um, they just play off each other. So you know you, every power play has set plays whatnot. But you know and Coach Keith spends a lot of time obviously with with that group over the last two years and they know each other that they're just moving with a lot of fluidity. There's so much confidence on the group um, right now. And you know and I thought I think our penalty kill is you know I think we're top six or seven in the country and Coach Smith has done a great job with our penalty kill and we had two great PKs today uh, particularly the five on three for a full two minutes that allowed us to you know, not give them any momentum but uh, it's confidence there's a lot of confidence and we got some puck handlers and some guys who can shoot it and score and you know it's hard to shut down Aston Reese, Gadette and Secura on the same power play, and then you've got a guy like Cockrell can shoot, and Johnny Stevens is not much of a, as much as a shooter, but he he makes smart plays there. So, you know, it's, if you take one away, you know, I think we're finding the, the open option. Yeah, I, I said to him briefly after the game, I thought he played really well, and we need some big saves early in the game. Uh, even though we jumped up 2 nothing, you know, when it was 2, when it was two nothing, he made a big save. And uh, when he's out and challenging, which is what he did tonight, he ate a lot of pucks in his midsection. He absorbed a lot, and he controlled the puck. There was very little rebounds coming off of him. That's a good sign. That's a sign he's playing well. He tracked the puck really well and he was aggressive out. And that's the most aggressive he's been in a while outside the paint a little bit. And he tracked a lot through the midsection. And because they've got some shooters on that club. And, um, you, you know, we know how good they are. Again, this game didn't show, it wasn't indicative of how good they are, but uh, they're a good team. They're 4 2 and 2 against, they're 4 2 and 1 against some hockey East teams. They've beaten Notre Dame at Notre Dame. You know, they've, they've beaten uh, Merrimack. 
back. They've beaten Lowell at Lowell. So they beat some good teams in our league. So uh, we just got them on the right night, and we got them after a tough travel night for them uh, yesterday. Um, Stevens will be later this month, um, early in February. Josephic is still in, in, in uh, concussion protocol, and Pecoraro are still uh, waiting on a couple of uh, certifications academically.